Welcome to Pause and Paint. Today we're doing an intuitive pop painting. I might use a stencil. Let, let's find out. So I decided to use a stencil and I taped it about an inch from the top of my canvas, 11 by 14 canvas. And then I'm placing my tracing paper underneath and I'm going to trace those lines as much as possible but you can see I'm missing a little bit here so you're gonna have to extend some of the hair uh, and we'll do that with paint so let's just get started with uh, tracing all the lines we can sit together it's so beautiful to be in the great outdoor here I'm kind of outlining the eye because it's a little bit thicker than your uh, brush strokes so I just outlined it and then fill the middle a little bit those eyelashes are so fun to do look great on this painting. I hope I can reproduce them because you know paintings are never the same. I always create something different but we'll just use the same brush and it should be good. So here uh, the hairline will actually do that with paint but the way it goes is kind of a little bob cut that comes up right here and then that goes I'll show you underneath. See right here? Kind of a little bob cut. And then we're going to have all kinds of paint. And very, um, this painting is very intuitive. So you can always remove your stencil, your carbon paper. As long as your stencil doesn't move, you're okay to continue. So haven't done the mouth so here's the mouth outlining it there we go and I think I have everything a uh, little shadow right here and of course we're gonna do her crown or her headpiece with a lot of paint and use our hands and it's a really fun painting all right this here, we need to do the, the hairline right here. Let's look if we have everything. And we do. It is so pretty. Okay. Let's put this aside. And so today we're using some blue, yellow, red. My primary colors are here, so I'm just going to fill my tray and be right back. Yellow, red, black, white, and blue using our three brushes. I've been using these three brushes for three years to do multiple paintings. They are wonderful. Just put them in water and let's get ready to tackle our first color, which is going to be the background. And I'm gonna start the background with uh, kind of a skin tone. So it's gonna be pretty much everywhere. So to mix a skin tone, Take your large brush and just grab equal amount of yellow and red. So we're creating an orange. And just grab some white. Let's see what we have. Test it on your canvas. It's a little pink, so I'm adding a little bit of yellow to warm it up. You could put some brown to make your um, your background and skin tone uh, a little bit darker, a little bit more like a warmer tone. I think I like this right here. So I'm going to loosely cover my background. with brush strokes up and down like this. 
You want to be able to see your guidelines. I didn't press very hard. Usually I want people to press harder so that you have a darker outline. But what you do when you lose your guideline is just to add a little bit of water in your paint and uh, just go over it and you should, it's going to thin out your paint and you'll be able to see your guidelines. Okay, so I think I got a little carried away with uh, adding a lot of this color, but it's okay because I was going to actually maybe put more of a red right here, but we'll go in layers. It's always better to build your, can, your painting with layers, so we're going to wait for this to dry. Actually, before I do that, I am going to put a little bit of red underneath the hairline so see where the the hair the hair is going to be blue and it's going to be yellow on top but right now I'm just adding with the same brush a little bit of yellow right here I'm sorry red right here and I'm not going to go all the way just kind of outline the shoulder and the same thing right here and your hairline is right here so I'm just going to do a little line too this is where it is, and this is the shoulder. So the red is gonna go right here. Look, I'm painting with my left hand. <laughs> um, so this is just a little bit of the underneath, what this is gonna give you this effect. See how there's a little bit of red right here and there's a little bit here but it's purple so we're gonna actually add a little bit of blue to our paint we're gonna create the purple right now I'm using my medium brush and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of blue inside my flesh tone right here I just want to lighten it up and grab some red mm, a little bit of white so we're doing a purple we're gonna use this color a little bit more but you don't need that much. So I'm just adding a little bit of purple right here. So this is our hairline again. And now I just tap tap with my ring finger to make a little texturing. So we're gonna make let this dry for a little bit. I'm gonna go get a blow dryer. Before I do the blow drying, I wanna just do a little bit of uh, sponging with a paper towel. Just putting put it in the little ball like this, so you have some creases. And let's be careful here. actually dries really quickly it's almost dry so I'm going to use a little bit of blow dryer but I won't need to do it for very long I'm going to use my small brush and with a little bit of black mixed with purple I'm just going to create a color to do some outline Face. Meant to be in the great out 
ear. Let's do the body. Neck. This is going to be the shadow. You can paint it purple black. Next we're going to move to the face. Feel free to pause the video anytime you need to. I'm adding a little bit of blue to my black and purple so that I have starting to have some blue tone in there. Keep a paper towel handy so you can remove some of the paint so you don't want to have too much paint on your brush. this and I'm just gonna do the eyes. I'm gonna start with the eyebrow. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me eyes. We meant to be in the great outcome. Kind of fine line for the nose. And I'm not going to outline outline the, the mouth just yet. I'm going to wait to do the eyebrows as well. I want my hand to be warmed up a little bit more. So uh, let's put this back in the water and grab your medium brush. Remove the excess water and grab some blue. I'm just going to put blue, a little bit of a little bit of black in my blue. I want to, to make it a tiny bit darker, but not too much. And I'm going to loosely add the paint to her hair. Just mix a little bit of, a little bit more paint because we need more. is drinking my blue right now <laughs> it's okay if you don't stay within the lines we'll just do more outlines because we do want eye outlines on our painting but that's okay if you go a little bit outside I'm trying to stay inside the lines though I'm making my hair quite thick because I want I don't want it to dry too quickly because I want to do some itching, which is etching, which is like a little bit of lines like this. Whenever you do some etching or carving with your brush, if you don't like what you did, you just go over it. And do it over. No mistakes with paint. That's what I always tell my friends. my painters. Usually they're friends too because they become friends. I love when people come back and paint with me. They like it so much they want to come back. <laughs> this is what I do. Let's do a little bit here. Oh see I like that. Um, it's a little bit darker on top. I'm just adding a little bit of black. It's just right here. Blue, removing some of that black. I just needed to have some, some darker tone right here. I like it. Okay, let's go back to the blue and finish this side of her hair. Okay, so I did this side. I'm just gonna do a little bit of etching with my brush. It's gonna be a lot more going on here, so I'm just kind of doing texturing and then going over. You don't want everything to too much to show. Okay, I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue so the shadow is not too too black. 
little bit of blue right there. Again, pause the video if you haven't finished the hair and come back to me when you're ready. So I need to let this dry really well. I'm going to use the blow dryer because there's going to be yellow going on top here. And I'm going to warm up this red. So that's my last, next step is to do a little bit of more orange. So cleaning my brush really well. I'm trying to keep my station clean, but I always say I'm the messiest painter in the room. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to do red right here and add twice as much yellow so one scoop of red two scoops of yellow and I'm creating this really nice medium orange um, just gonna place it right here I'm not gonna place it on the other side this is just uh, to warm this area and if you look at the painting the lips are gonna be the same color so this and this and I'm gonna also do some eyeshadow with this color and a few details right here. This painting was done very, uh, it's very spontaneous, um, it's very organic, and it's really fun to, to do. Feel free to use other colors if you want to. I'm really loving this warm red right now. Love, love, love it. I'm gonna put more. <laughs> I'm gonna actually cover this whole area because yellow is going to come on top but I want the base the underneath color to be warmer so there we go oh I love this very much I'm gonna actually put some right here even though we're gonna have yellow I just really love the trend the transparency of acrylics is something I just love to see happening so I'm gonna use my smaller brush and uh, do my lips I want to stay within the lines and use that orange red. Oh, 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 did a drip. It's okay. Just be careful not to have too much. I didn't wipe the water from my brush, and that's what happens. It's okay, I saved it. Just want to make sure. I do nice thick, nice thick coats, but I stay within the lines because you don't want it to um, you don't want the mouth to be too big. Mixing more paint because it kind of used a lot. I got carried away, but I really like it a lot. Okay, so you can lean your pinky on your canvas so you have more uh, stability. And I'm just gonna round them up a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. Very nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit more red and orange. I just don't want it to be too orange for the eyeshadow. It's a little bit more red. So now I'm gonna do just very thin lines for eyeshadow. Remove some of, some of the paint and go right above your eye line. And this one here. Ah, nice. Um, so the lips are, uh, there's um, a separation, you have one, it's like four parts. So this part is orange, this part is dark deeper red, so I'm just going to use red, a little bit of black, a 
and I'm doing a deeper red. You might need to wait for it to dry a little bit more, but let's try it. So it's smack in the middle, you do a line right here. You should have traced it anyway, but maybe you're not seeing your guidelines, but it's in the center mostly. And then you have the lips separation right here. So this part is darker red. It's okay if you have um, brush strokes. You know, you see little brush strokes and that's totally fine because um, we are using a brush. <laughs> so you can have brush strokes. You don't want to make, try to make it perfect is what I'm trying to say. There we go. And I'm just gonna remove a little bit of paint, use a little bit of darker color, a little black, a little bit more black in my red. And I'm just gonna outline the lips a little bit more. So make sure to remove the excess paint. I'm just gonna outline my lips, but inside the lines. I'm not going outside, remember? Because otherwise they're gonna look too big. next step is going to be um, to use start using some of that yellow so so we can't wait to put some of the yellow here it's gonna be really nice uh, but this is still very wet so we don't want to do any yellow on top of wet black that wouldn't be that wouldn't be good I'm just gonna scrape a little bit of that black cuz I'm gonna use some yellow there so we're gonna start doing some palette knife. So I'm just scraping a little bit of black right here. So just remove the paint. It's okay if it went over a little bit here. I'm going to put some yellow on top. So I'm just removing some paint and uh, putting it in my paper towel. And I'm going to actually remove just a little bit of right here. So you basically take your knife and you scrape some areas like this and then you can kind of bring it onto the red play with it see take your knife grab some color and let's bring a little bit of blue right here it's gonna be yellow but I'm just kind of starting to do some texturing I'm gonna make it a little bit more just do some sweep. Right now we're scraping some paint. I'm doing texture. some paint. See when you want to add it back, you scrape it up, add it back, and it's creating texture. Scrape it, add it back. See how cold this looks? So it helps your color dry faster. Let's use 
take your medium brush and grab some white in the corner right here with a tiny bit of black just to create a gray. And I'm just adding some gray tones right here, right next to the shadow. Kind of bring a few brush strokes down. You can dip your finger in your flesh tone and kind of make this transition a little bit nicer with dabbing some paint with your finger. See how I just made it softer. Okay, so a little bit more gray. Here I'm giving a very two-dimensional look to it and I'm going to also put just a little bit of gray on, around her face right here. See that's why I don't want to do the eye, eyelashes yet because then you would go over them. Adding a little bit of gray in the hair like this which became blue. Let's wash our brush. Here. I'm going to start to place her necklace. So let me just kind of do some doodling right here. This is the center of her necklace. Kind of go over like this. So just very loosely, just kind of do some swirls. Outline the hair a little bit more. A little highlight right there. Here, there's going to be a lot of yellow, but still, I just want to place some of those lighter tones of gray. I really like it. So, oh, I grabbed a little purple by mistake. So, actually, we're going to use that. The little bit of blue and purple and white. So, we're doing um, a lilac color. It's basically it's gray with a little bit of purple in it. I'm just going to do some little brush strokes right here and then I'm going to dab with my finger just kind of creating the a little bit of the frame she can could almost have like a, a dress I like this a little bit of purple here and there a little bit of red to my finger and I'm just dotting that area and that area just a few dots it's a darker red just like this and uh, I think for now I'm gonna let it dry a little bit so let me hit that blow dryer I've been saying it for a while so okay so now we're gonna do those eyelashes yay Put a few drops in black. You want your paint to be a little bit more fluid. So maybe 10 drops in a little circle of black paint. Um, there's a little bit of blue in those eyelashes. So let's grab some blue as well. And I'm actually gonna put more water. So see the paint is actually very fluid. I'm using my small brush and it needs to be very pointy at the tip. So make sure you keep your brush very pointy like this. And just use a very, very small amount of paint. And we're gonna start with Actually, we're going to need to put some yellow here, so I'm just going to do them on this side. This eye needs to be a little bit more defined. I'm doing that now. Okay. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. 
You don't want to keep your brush on your canvas for too long. You just lift up, drag, lift, drag, lift. You can practice if you want on a piece of paper first. I'm happy with that. I might do one more here. This one needs to be a little bit longer. Here we go. Try to do it with one stroke and not like go back. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of white to my brush to make a little bit of gray. And I just want to go over a few of them. See how I'm just kind of, with the gray, making them a little bit more subtle. Um, I'm going to create a little bit of a lighter color for her cheeks, so I'm just adding some white to the flesh tone that I used earlier. So it's kind of beigey looking, very light beige. And uh, I just want to do a little highlight right here and just go with my finger and rub on it. See, this should be darker because she's looking down and the light would be hitting this side of her face, but I don't follow those rules. <laughs> My style of painting is uh, is something that I I like to just follow my intuition and what feels good. So I went over the heart area right here, which is her necklace. Um, you can kind of play with it and make it whatever you want. It's kind of a heart, which I'll make it a little bit darker later. So. Um, I'm going to start putting some yellow, just putting the, the yellow right here. So I'm going to use my, my knife, so clean your palette knife. We used it earlier with some black paint, so you should really rub it and remove the excess black on it. It can kind of be good to rinse it, but I think we're good. There. So now I'm gonna just grab some yellow straight from my palette, my uh, tray, and I'm just gonna apply it on the left corner right here. Same thing here. It's quite thick, and I'm just applying it to the corner. Your yellow is gonna not stay yellow. Okay, what I was saying is your yellow is not gonna stay yellow. See what I mean? It's just kind of picking up some paint everywhere and it's gonna be a little bit muddy, but that's the look of the painting and that's what we want. Grab your ring finger, 
with your ring finger grab some yellow I mean <laughs> you don't want to grab your ring finger what are you gonna do with it <laughs> uh, just add some little dots this is so much fun I love it so can start doing her headpiece so you're just kind of gonna go across like this as a sweep swipe sweep I love her already and uh, she's not done but I think I'm having more fun painting her now than I did the first time <laughs> You can use two fingers if you want. And I'm going to do some yellow down here as well. I'm going to actually do a little swiping with my finger, kind of paint, water paint, uh, finger painting right here. Just like this. And I have a few. I think I went like this on the original. There you go. Just to show you this part right here kind of went like this okay fun 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 I'm adding a little bit of yellow here as well so just gonna do finger painting right here I'm just kind of smudging the paint on the dark and it's almost giving me like a green it's really cool so just do that Rub, rub, rub. Bring the yellow a little bit under the chin right here. Dot, dot, rub, dot. And then I'm going to do a few dots here. Yeah, I really like this a lot. And I'm going to do a little bit here as well. A little rubbing. be ready to do the eyelashes now because you can see I put the yellow there and there's a little bit of yellow right here so I'm just gonna go right here with my finger and rub it in going in you have to be very spontaneous with this just like this let's wipe our fingers and went over the red a little bit but that's okay because we can just take our brush and go over it there love this let's grab some purple with your small brush and now we're gonna just do the heart oops too much paint I'm adding blue too it's like kind of a blue purple like a bird on a tree. remove the excess I'm doing a heart I'm just sitting like this and in a circle around it and now I'm just going to do some little swirl like this so that's our necklace a little bit more blue little dots a little purple kind of going back and forth with purple and blue Very spontaneous. There's nothing calculated about this. And a few dots of blue. There. I'm grabbing some purple with my ring finger. It's going to do a few dots right here. I'm liking her so far. Let's do those eyelashes. So you have this black that's very watered down. So grab some of this, remove the excess. And 
bit, I don't know if you noticed, but they're a little bit darker than I would have liked. So let me grab a little bit of a purple, blue, a little bit of white, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna go over them a little bit. I'm not covering them all up, but there. I need to redo my eyeliner, so I'm just gonna go over this part just a little bit. There we go, little eyeliner. There we are. I'm gonna outline this part right here a little bit with my blue black it's clear to see a little pout from up here the world seems small we can sit okay so now we're gonna go with white dab some white on your ring finger not so much we're not cooking right now. It's not like whipped cream. <laughs> and we're gonna do some dots going across. They don't have to be round. You can do different shapes. We're gonna do smaller ones too. Mixing, I'm, I'm adding uh, some flesh tone in there as well. The darker flesh tone, not the slight one. very thick. So you might want to use a little bit of water in there a little bit if your paint is too thick. I'm just going around the necklace area. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time. It's clear yellow. Have fun with this. This is so much fun. I am now going to grab my medium brush, make sure it's dry, and I'm picking up a little bit of white. I'm going to do some dots. little dots on her eyelashes corner of the eye take a step using the small brush I'm gonna make smaller circles meant to be in the great outdoor forever free you and me meant to be in the great outdoor forever
of your brush with a few scratches like this. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Just add a little bit of paint to the back of your brush. scratches and not too much just digging into the canvas just uh, I show you those scratches right here see how there's a few scratches right we're doing that when our paint is still kind of wet and creating her earring as well so lines going down. I'm going to actually add a little bit of white and make those swirls like this. I didn't make the earring on the other one so let's just do a few. That's her jewelry and then a few scratches. Sometimes when the canvas is too dry, it won't give you the scratches. You can add a little bit of paint. I'm not doing too much. As you can see, I don't want my painting to be messy. But this is adding texture and just emotion to your canvas. And I'm done. So, I hope you had fun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A little bit of white on the lips can't forget the highlight white on the lips because that's very important a little bit here small one here and here there you can step back look at your painting you do have a little dot on the nose right here here we go. Wow, I really love her. She is pretty. Didn't want to do that white. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. If you smell hard. See, I think sometimes one of the hardest part to painting is to know when to stop because you don't want to continue if you know, you're done and you add too much. So I'm just going to go over it stand out too much there oh I love this okay um, this is the first painting of 2018 it's dedicated to my friend hope and she's painting it I'm sure hello hope I love you and um, yes you know I'm noticing a little bit of just a little bit of white and in, in the jewelry there you go um, if you want to see more painting, uh, I'm just going to put a few links at the uh, in the descriptions to guide you towards uh, different workshops. And also, I'm doing a coloring book, and uh, it's a uh, sorry, it's a it's 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 an art journal, uh, coloring book slash um, journal. It's just a lot of fun. It's my first time doing this, and I'll put the link below as well, so you can um, join me in doing this. It's really a journey because uh, never done like a true complete journal before but 
Lord is guiding me to do this, so I'm being obedient. And that's it. Hope you had fun. See you in my next video. Bye. So if you want to look at more videos, YouTube recommends some videos on the left and on the right I have my journal series. So you just click on that and connect with me on Instagram and Twitter at paintwithnat. Stay creative. Bye.